Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, here today with another installment to our What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2018 series. In this video, we'll be having a look at the new capability to add hatches to layers and control their visual properties, such as visibility and color. We'll be working with the fidget spinner that you see on the screen here. And uh, as hatches are only available in drawings, we can go ahead and move over to a drawing to show this capability. Here we have a simple cross section. Hatches are created automatically when you create a cross section of a design, or they can be added manually to close contours or regions. Now the first step to assigning these hatches to layers is to create the layers themselves. For this, we'll access the layer properties command, and by default, this isn't going to be available on your command manager. It's also not accessible through the menus. So in order to access this, you'll likely want to come up to the search bar for commands, type in layer and find it, activate it here, or add it to your command manager for future use. In this layers dialog, if you're using a standard template, you'll probably see this default format layer. We want to go ahead and create a few new ones here. So we'll go ahead and start uh, a new layer. And I'd like to organize these according to my components, but you can do this however you would like. Uh, maybe you'd like to set all of your hatches to the same layer so you can control visibility and color all at once. But in this case, we're just going to create a few new ones for the top cover, bottom cover. We'll do one for the blade, the battery, and then we'll also do the motor assembly. With that in place, we can go ahead and control aspects such as visibility here with the eyeball, uh, whether these layers will print with the print icon, the color with the beach ball here, as well as the style and line thickness. But the style and line thickness won't apply to hatches, so we're going to ignore those for now and focus on color. We'll go ahead and assign a few colors here. Again, it doesn't really matter which colors you pick, so just choose your favorites. And once we're done with this, we'll go ahead and confirm our changes and assign our hatches to these newly created layers. In order to do this, simply click a hatch uh, section here and you'll see the Area Hatch Fill Property Manager appear. Now, you can choose the layer that you would like to move these to. But before I do this, I always like to check Apply To here because this allows you to specify which portion of what you've selected is going to be applied to the new layer. So you have a few different options. You can apply the entire component to the new layer. You can assign just the region you've selected. You can choose the entire view to be assigned to the layer or one specific body. So typically I keep this at component, but we'll show how to use this with the region option as well. And then simply choose the layer of your liking. So we'll go ahead and assign the blade there. We can click a new region. Here's our bottom cover. Assign that to the bottom color layer. And you can see those colors appearing. There's our top cover. We'll go ahead and grab the battery as well. And then finally, just to show this for the motor assembly, I'd actually like to assign uh, just a couple regions, for example. We'll zoom in so we can see this here. I can control select multiple regions, change the apply to drop down to region here, and then set the layer. And what you'll see is that even though the motor assembly includes other regions of hatching here, it's only going to apply to the ones we selected. So you want to exercise some caution, make sure that you're choosing uh, the right selection here. Additionally, material cross hatch, you can deselect this to override the default hatch that's uh, inherited from the material and you also have an option to either apply the changes immediately or you can clear this and defer those changes until the apply button is selected. So it's really just that simple. I hope this new capability will help you SOLIDWORKS users out there get a little more use out of layers. And uh, these improvements are just one of many this year so be sure to check out our What's New series for additional videos on all the new features included in SOLIDWORKS 2018. If you enjoyed this video or would like additional information, please give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.